I guess the things I focus on the most is like the the things that you should be doing. You know, mm. training, yeah. good nutrition, yeah. good sleep, uh -huh. sunlight, and those are really the ones mm. I hammer down the most. And you know, mm. fasting it can kind of go into the nutrition to mm. some extent. Then there's this like cold exposure and stuff, but I don't mm. feel like it's a must. It's a good tool. Yeah. Uh, but these these first four yeah. that you need to do. Mm. So I kind of just want to ask you that very simple question, so mm. you can give your take on it, like. Why is sleep so important? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So sleep, and it's funny that, you know, that's the one thing people cut into the most. Yeah. Right? So if there's a time shortage, what do people do? Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to sleep less. Yeah. Right? Automatically. Not not the approach that I would, uh, you know, uh, promote. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. So sleep is your only recovery state. It, think about it like this. If my engine is running and it's running hot, mm. Is keeping it running going to cool it down or regenerate? Mm. No, right? And obviously there's differences between a mechanic thing and an organism or an organic thing, but or organic matter has wear and tear, right? Mm. It, it, it wears it down. Mm. But that sleep, again, is basically turning the engine off. Mm. It's giving the, a chance, like the engine is never really off because you're alive, uh, <laughs> right? But the analogy stands like, let's say that the engine now can cool down and regenerate by doing so, right? Mm. An engine that overheats, at least in the past, right? It explodes mm -hmm. <laughs> to a certain degree, or you blow a, a gasket or a casket. I'm not even sure what the, what the word is. Me neither. No, no <laughs> it, we'll, we'll let the Americans figure it out more. Mm. Tell us. Anyway, so sleep is the only real recovery state. Mm. This happens on every level. Deep sleep is the physiological mm. repair. Mm. REM sleep is the psychological repair. Mm. And this is not just like, oh, like, okay, now I'm repaired or, you know, recovered. It's also like a human ho growth hormone is the highest when you sleep. Mm -hmm. So guys, if you're not sleeping, you're not making gains. Mm -hmm. And every other um, hormone gets refilled, if you like, mm -hmm. right? Testosterone, that's why it's the highest in the morning, but not only why, but why mm -hmm. it is high yeah. is because you use all of it up during the day mm -hmm. and at night you recover, right? So you all everything that you eat, be, not everything, but I'm, I'm just explaining it, right? What you eat gets converted, mm. then it's like if you had a testosterone meter, it's full again when you wake up in yeah. the morning, or it should be, right? Yeah. yeah. And that's why, like, sleep, it, it's the fundamental thing. Like, yeah, like, if you stopped eating and you stopped, you know, drinking water, you would die, yeah. you know, especially water, well, not relatively fast. Like, mm. there's quite a longer margin that people understand. Yeah. yeah. But after, I think it's two weeks of sleep deprivation, it becomes lethal. Mm. And like, this again, depends on the bio individual, but like, it's not like, oh, it's just because it's after two weeks that it's lethal, that it's a problem. Like the <laughs> degradation of the human psyche starts after day yeah, two yeah. already. Lethal is lethal. You yeah, know, yeah. There's some steps before that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And this is like, it's... There's just no way around it because the brain can't do all these other things like clearing toxins, right? So the brain has its own lymphatic system. So clearing toxins and recovering all this stif stuff only happens when you sleep. Mm. And it, it's just kind of like, yeah, the, if you start, that's why, again, when I start with clients, it's generally sleep that I start, either yeah. sleep or stress, actually. Yeah, and I bet they love that. <laughs> oh, everyone fucking hates it. Because it's like, yeah, go to, it's not like I tell them go to bed earlier. It's useless information, yeah, everyone yeah, knows. Yeah, like yeah. I just tell them, yeah, like, of course, why is sleep important? But it's, I, I give them the steps and the, the hygiene, right? Yeah, yeah. Quote, unquote. Uh, so everything that's what around what makes sleep good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. No, the, the funny thing with sleep, and I know I've been quite like that mm -hmm. in, a, in a past life, kind of. But yeah. that a lot of people will go, when you tell them the importance of sleep, it's like, mm -hmm. nah, but I do fine on my five hours or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. And it's like, okay, you, you might manage with your job or whatever it is. You feel like you get the shit done. Mm -hmm. Just try sleeping for eight hours per night and you uh, for a while. And you're going to be like, how did I ever do that? Yes. So um, there's a physiological adaptation to the baseline, but, and I would say like, surviving isn't thriving. You no, know, exactly. Mm -hmm. And there's, you know, uh, certain things when, when I thought like that, I just, I mean, sometimes because I had quite a shitty lifestyle. So sometimes mm -hmm. even I knew that, okay, this, mm -hmm. this is no good, you know, but when I was up too late, um, yeah, uh, 
I, I can I lose my train of thought, but yeah, I, th I think I thought uh, yeah. that uh, uh, certain things were kind of normal, and I don't really see what, like this energy lifts throughout yeah. the day. Mm -hmm. uh, like I remember, like even in like chemistry class in uh, the gymnasium, high school, mm -hmm. uh, I used to always sleep during those lessons, <laughs> uh, uh, uh -huh. and I mean that wouldn't even be possible for me right now, I think, yeah. uh, you know, and we've talked about that, me and the sleep, yeah. you know, wired up, I really had to try to calm myself down to yeah. sleep, but it's so obvious, uh, and I remember one job I had was always around lunch, I felt mm -hmm. like I could fall asleep, mm -hmm. kind of, and, and to have to deal with that shit mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. and so then when you start to sleep well and all that, it's like, no, there's no dips, no, I exactly. just feel great, I have high energy throughout yeah. the whole day, mm -hmm. and uh, so yeah, uh, in comparison, like I managed, I could do that job, mm. I could be in the school, mm. but like, how productive was I really? Yeah. And so when you experience that contrast, it's like, yeah, this is the way to do it. Yeah, definitely. and a lot of people, like, if you say, like, oh, I thrive on little sleep, mm. there's 99% of mm. that, I, I'm calling you, it's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're lying. Yeah. It's not, like, unless, and why I say, like, it's even less than 99%, or it's, it's hard. It's even less than 1% of genetic outliers in the world mm. that would be able to thrive mm. on very little sleep. Mm. Because that polymorphism, so the change in genetics, is so uncommon. Mm. Most people, and we're in that, those categories, like just need enough sleep, which mm. is like between seven and a half to nine hours. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So the, the next question I have also uh, also very fundamental that ties into this too. And mm. why?